Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Golfberg, and thanks for logging on. That's right, I'm wearing my Golfberg hat today because on the other side of our house, Golfberg Jewelers is an authorized retailer for H. Moser and C. And today, a lucky client is taking delivery of an exceptional piece unique. And before he does, I am going to unbox it. If you have interest in Moser watches, reach out to me. I'm still Tim at thewatchbox.com. Just take note, you're going to deal with Golfberg Tim instead of Watchbox Tim. Okay, let's take a look here. The box is substantial. It's brown. It's gold gilded. And... We're going to lift off the top of the outer box. Inside, we have a little packaging cushion, a sleeve, enveloping a gorgeous lacquered black box. Now, here's where things start to get interesting. Okay, the outer box is what it is. The inner box, though, has a sense of occasion. Look at this. Even the latch is spectacular. Uh, visually outstanding with the Moser logo, polished, faceted, and laser engraved. Now, moving inboard, we see the piece de résistance, or I should say, the piece unique. Uh, this is technically a pioneer tourbillon, but it has a name. This piece unique, a product of Schaffhausen, is also a product of space. We call it the asteroid. Now, Okay, everyone loves boxed sets and accessories, so take note, this one comes with a lovely wood and gold-gilded H. Moser & C. loop. It also has a wonderful engraved Pioneer Tourbillon piece unique presentation plate, but let's get with the goods because all the action is the watch itself. Now we're going to move the box out of the frame for a moment. It'll come back, don't worry. Separation anxiety, I understand, but we'll talk about the box set once we've unwrapped the watch. Now you know you're big time in the watch world when you have your own branded watch wraps, and fortunately Moser has exactly that. Properly sized for the stainless steel watch in 42.8 millimeters. Uh, quick basic dimensions. It's a basic Pioneer steel case, which means it's 42.8 millimeters in diameter. It's a surprisingly slender 13 millimeters thick. From lug tip to lug tip, it's 51 millimeters. If we include the end lengths, it's only a little bit longer. Total distance across the wrist is 51.5 millimeters. The spacing between the lugs is 22 millimeters. This one's on a lovely Brogioli built bracelet and clasp setup, though Moser also has plenty of different strap options for you. Uh, we'll throw the watch on my wrist. My wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference. You'll find it's a really good fit. In spite of the plus size dimensions, the slender profile is what really surprises me because it'll sit underneath cuff. It also has lugs that sort of arc down around the edge of the wrist, so even though my wrist is not terribly large at 16 centimeters circumference, uh, the watch is going to sit really well, nicely planted, proportionally excellent. You can see the lugs are not over the edge of my wrist, and this over-the-top shot hammers that home. Now, take a look at the bracelet. It's a good-looking piece. It's got each section primary links, and then it has intermediates. Everything here is satinated, so it's a muted, sporty look. All of the links are individually removable, so you've got some flexibility there, but then you also have a locking rack style incremental system. Uh, pull in, pull out, very easy to use. There's a Moser logo externally. There's a nice piece of design parallelism as most of the clasp is satinated, but its flank is evacuated and coined, and the case itself features evacuated and coined profile. A variation on these evacuated lugs can be found on every Moser watch. You see how the system's uh, quick adjustment system works with a little release and rack system. System. It's also a twin trigger release, so it is twin triggers, pops open, thick gauge, steel, single swing arm. Uh, you'd want a twin trigger release clasp or clamshell on a sports watch to ensure it stays put during high inertia sporting activities. Rolling around to the case, most of cases are different. They machine them and then they hand finish them. Most companies will just machine or just stamp. The combination of machining and hand finishing allows Moser to basically create a more complex case shape, whether it's a sports watch like the Pioneer or one of the Endeavor dress watches. Take note, the different finishing, we have medium blasting on the crown, we have polish on the case flank, we have coining, and then we have satination on the lug hoods. There is a sort of double pattern knurling on the bezel, and the bezel does have a sharp and pleasing detent. Strictly speaking, this is not a dive watch. It's a bi-directional bezel, though it can be used as a timing reference. What appears to be 
perhaps spinel or black sapphires is actually the real deal black diamonds and not just on the bezel. You could see that they have been cut into baguettes, faceted and then inset within recesses in the Wittmannstatten patterns of the meteorite dial. Now this watch is called the Asteroid and now you know why. Though truth be told, it's a little bit of terra firma and outer space all in one as we have the diamonds and the meteorite coexisting. The watch does not use the globalite clad hands of some of the most recent Pioneer models. Instead, a more elegant set of leaf profiled hands that are, truth be told, a better match for the design. We'll take a quick look. You can see the watch is luminescent. It even has luminescent indices outboard of the black diamond, so it is fully luminescent. Screw down crown, 120 meters water resistant. This is a full service sports watch. About the tourbillon, it's an unusual combination in tandem with the meteorites. Uh, the meteorite is a unique cut, so even if Moser were to ever do another meteorite dial, it would not be exactly like this one. The tourbillon, however, is part of the well-known caliber 804. So it's a one-minute tourbillon. It beats away at three hertz. What really sets it apart is that you have two flat hairsprings. Uh, you see the stud holders 180 degrees opposed because the hairsprings are identical and exactly opposed. When one due to gravity is, for example, running fast, the other hairspring, equal and opposite, will cause the system to run slower, so accomplishing basically instantaneously what a pocket watch tourbillon would accomplish over a minute or minutes. So this is a rare tourbillon that actually does cancel out the effects of gravity. The pirouette of the flying tourbillon architecture is not strictly necessary for that. It's the double hairspring that makes the magic happen. Now you will know there is no upper bridge to block your view. This is a flying tourbillon, which means the lucky owner of this piece unique will have an unobstructed view of the mechanism. And while the finish of the movement is good, the best finish of the movement is on the tourbillon carriage itself with satination, mirrored anglage, black polish, and screws finished to the highest standard. Flipping it over, and you might be surprised by just how sporty the caliber 804 is. It uses a magic lever style bi-directional pawl system that's very efficient and shock tolerant. We have unlubricated ceramic bearings. The underside of the tourbillon is braced by an exceptionally broad ball bearing rather than a jeweled staff. So this is a modern way to build a tourbillon. And even the bearings here are ceramic. It's a bi-directional winder with a 72 hour power reserve. So you've got a robust three days of reserve. We have double finish on the rose gold rotor with media blasted recesses and then a lovely satination and deep grooved spiral grain across the top with beveling on the edge. It's actually triple finished. Double crested coaches have across the bridges, though they have several segments. They're designed to read as a whole as a three-quarter bridge, a nod to the pocket watch era of Moser watchmaking in the 19th and early 20th century. We also have double crested Cote de Genève, a unique standard for modern Moser watches that marks this instantly as a product of the smaller of the two manufacturers in Schaffhausen. We've got black polished screws and three of them fix a golden chiton holding the barrel arbor. That chiton all also a nod to the way jewels tended to be set in bridges and plates during the pocket watch era. We've got a satinated crown wheel core and then black polished crown wheel teeth. And you can see that the underlying structure for the tourbillon has been nicely beveled along its edges. A good looking movement altogether. Now you can see the asteroid is engraved on the reverse side, as is Piece Unique, an unusual watch that will never be replicated. It's a standout. And it's nice to know that you get it in a boxed set with a matching sense of occasion. Taking a quick look over here, there's more to the box than meets the eye. We've got, of course, the nameplate, the cushion, the Moser wrap, and the loop, but it gets better. Lift out the insert, and underneath, you get a Moser-branded polishing cloth, which is an absolute ball to play with. Nothing is baller, like heading to your red bar with a polishing cloth branded to match your piece unique watch. There's there's also a little warranty card in here. This is your guarantee from Moser. We've got a few extra links. FYI, this has been sized for the lucky client. And although Moser often doesn't put Swiss made on its watches, it does include a little Swiss made tag. Just so you know, Moser does not put Swiss made on its dials, primarily because it's insulted by the 60% content threshold to qualify for Swiss made. Moser boasts that its watches are 95 to 100% Swiss made, the real deal. No naming necessary. Also, note the discretion here. Very few brands will agree to build a watch that has no overt branding. Taking a quick look, there's a hang tag included, a lovely little accessory because when boxed sets are concerned, more is better. And then you have a digital user's manual. You've got a little QR code that will call up the user's manual. Uh, 
Again, a way to avoid killing trees. We have traditional horology, but also modern technology in equal measure. Thank you so much to our client who envisioned a uh, piece unique and Moser just had the right thing for him. It's a perfect match of man and machine. Reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com if you are interested in Moser watches through our Govberg sister brand. I can refer you to all the right folks. Time out, Tim out, and thanks for logging on.